Here is an example to understand vector components of force. Resolve a 10 Newton force into two equal vector components. And part B of this is, is there more than one answer to this question? Explain. So let's first resolve it into two equal vector components. So if we have a force and we want to resolve it into two equal vector components, then we can think about a square and the force could be the diagonal of the square. So let me sketch one so that we understand what are we trying to do. Let's say this is a square. Now, the diagonal of the square, let that be our force. Now, if this is the force, in that case, we can have two equal components along the sides of the square. Now, since their sides are equal, their magnitudes are equal also, right? So, that could be a solution to our problem. So, this is the approach which we are going to take to solve this question. Well, the question is, resolve a 10 Newton force into two equal vector components. So we said this is our 10 Newton force and let the components be A and B which is also A, right? So we are just worried about magnitude, right? So the magnitude is A, A. Okay. So actually I should have written the vector A I should have written this as let's say this is vector a and this is actually vector b magnitude of vector b equals to magnitude of vector a since both are equal right the vectors are going to be different one direction is horizontal the other one is vertical right now let's try to solve for a now as far as magnitudes are concerned this is a right triangle so we know magnitude of A square plus magnitude of B square should be equals to the magnitude of the diagonal which is 10 square. Now since we know that these are the sides of our square, their magnitudes are same. Therefore, we can write this as they are same. So we will write this as magnitude of A square equals to 100, right? That's what I meant by writing it like this. So here, vector A is a component along horizontal direction and vector B is component along the vertical direction. So we get 2 times magnitude of A square equals to 100 and therefore magnitude of A square is 100 divided by 2 which is 50 and magnitude of A is square root of 50. So we get a square whose sides are square root of 50, right? So square root of 50 is 25 times 2. And we could write this as, uh, let me write this as first. Uh, okay. 25 times 2 square root. And then I will write this as 5 square root 2. That makes sense. So let me go through it once again, what I did really. Now, let's read the question. It says resolve a 10 Newton force into two equal vector components. So we say fine, this is our 10 Newton force. And since we want two equal vector components, let's think that they are along the sides of a square. And 10 Newton is the diagonal of our square. So that is what we have taken in assumption. And we are saying, let the horizontal component, so we have two components here, one is horizontal component, let the horizontal component be vector A and vertical be vector B, right? That's the vertical component. But since their magnitudes are same, right? That is two equal vector components, right? Since their magnitudes are same, we know magnitude of A is equals to magnitude of B. So that is how we started 
and then we constructed a square with the diagonal of 10 newtons and then found what is the magnitude of a so the magnitude of a is 5 square root of 2 now since this is a square we know that the angle formed will be 45 degrees right so so the angle is 45 degrees and so we can say that the components so we can write 10 newtons as equal to 5 square root 2 along x direction we can say this as in components language i plus unit vector i and 5 square root 2 along j unit vector j is the vertical component we could write like this right so that could be one answer to this question now the question is is there more than one answer to this now how can you find more than one answer that is what you have to think now more than one answer and equal components it really means that what you should do is if I have a perpendicular bisector of this that means the center of this and then I draw a line which is a perpendicular bisector it will definitely go through these lines so let me draw this using a ruler so let's say this is my perpendicular bisector so I've just drawn a perpendicular bisector to our 10 Newton force what I'm trying to say is this is 90 degrees now since this is a perpendicular bisector any point on this line will be same distance away from both the ends right and therefore these could also form components so I could have so many different components do you see that so that is what I want to highlight here is there more than one answer to this question so there are many answers we could have so many answers let us say this is my component right so now this is my component along some angle which is not 90 degrees or 45 degrees but the two vectors are not orthogonal so these two components now here these two distances are same since these two distances are same the two components are equal correct the magnitude of two components is equal correct and on this line we have infinite number of points so every point on this line can result into components of the given vector right so that is kind of very important to understand now here I will uh, highlight one more thing that we sometimes use rectangular components sometimes we try to resolve rather most of the time when we are resolving forces into two components then we are resolving into rectangular components now rectangular components are at 90 degrees to one another like shown here rectangular components most of the time are along x-axis and y-axis which are orthogonal right which are at right 90 degrees which we assume to start with right so we took i and j here now if the question is that resolve 10 newton force into two equal rectangular vector components in that case the solution is unique correct because in that case only these two points will satisfy the criteria all other vector components will not be rectangular rectangular components will have will form not 90 degrees either it will be less than or greater than 90 degrees as you can see right so this component which we have drawn these two components right they do not form 90 degree angles right so likewise we could have many solutions but they all will not be rectangular components there will be only one with which will be rectangular component so that is kind of an important thing 
to remember, right? I hope you understand. Thank you.